How's it going everyone? I'm here with my WWE Night of Champions 2014 Paper Predictions. Night of Champions is live on Pay-Per-View as well as the WWE Network tomorrow night. And overall, I gotta say, for Night of Champions this year, I feel like this card is very good on paper. I feel like this could be a very good show. I think almost every match has potential to be at least a very solid to great match, I think. Um, I just, I'm really intrigued by the card, you know, for me, I'm just... I think it looks really good on paper. I really hope it delivers. You know, the last paper we got that looked great on paper was Battleground. And, of course, that show sucked. So, hopefully, that isn't the case here. Hopefully, Night of Champions does deliver because I really, like I said, I really feel like this show could deliver as a great show, potentially show of the year, if it delivers properly, in my opinion. But uh, Night of Champions is the one night a year where every championship is on the line. Uh, five titles, but uh, eight matches announced for the show. Five championship matches. Eight or, or three singles matches. But um, before the pay-per-view starts, of course, we have the kickoff, which will be an hour before the uh, the show starts at 4 o'clock uh, Pacific, uh, 7 Eastern. Um, I don't know why the kickoff is an hour for Night of Champions for. I don't know. that just It seems like they pick random shows that make an hour-long pre-show. Or, like, you know, last year's SummerSlam was an hour. This year's WrestleMania was two hours. Now, Night of Champions is a very random show to be the one-hour kickoff. So it's, uh, it's kind of weird that this is a one-hour kickoff, but... In the one-hour kickoff, we'll be getting the return of not only Christian, but the Peep Show as well. Christian will be holding, uh, or hosting the Peep Show with Chris Jericho as his guest on the kickoff. That should be entertaining. You know, Christian, we haven't seen in the WWE ring in a while. Uh, we've seen him on a few of the kickoff shows from the panels, for, I think, for like Money in the Bank, and I think uh, Battleground, he might have did it as well. I'm not uh, sure. I know Christian's on a few uh, of the kickoff panels in the past. But it'll be cool to see him back. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably have a match or two on the kickoff as well. I don't see the, the uh, peep show containing the entire kickoff for an hour, so we'll probably get a match or two added on the kickoff show. But uh, to the, the overall card, like I said, eight matches announced, five championships, three singles. Uh, on the card, we'll be seeing the WWE Tag Team Championships being defended. Uh, the Usos taking on Golden Stardust. Uh, this should be a good match. You know, they've been pretty much building this match since the night after SummerSlam, so... I think I'm going to get a solid tag team match here. They're both two great tag teams, so I'm expecting a pretty good match uh, from those two teams. I'll uh, be getting the Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, Dolph Ziggler defending his newly won championship from SummerSlam uh, against The Miz. This should be another good match. Hopefully these two get the, des the deserved time that they deserve. Um, SummerSlam, they had about a seven-minute match, so hopefully we can get you know maybe 10 to 15 if we're lucky uh, minute match between two here. Uh, also, Sheamus defends his United States Championship against Cesaro. Those two always put on really good matches, so expect nothing less from those two there. Uh, we'll be having Randy Orton take on Chris Jericho. Uh, the match is pretty random, you know, it's based off of one attack, but hey, those two have always put on solid matches, in my opinion, so I'm really looking forward to that match. I think it'll be great, potentially a match tonight, uh, in my opinion. Uh, we'll be getting Mark Henry defending the United States of America against Rusev, the Russian, even though he's Bulgarian. They bowled him out when he first came, but he... I guess transition to a Russian. I don't know. Uh, you know your basic Rusev versus or your basic match for Rusev for every pay per view where it's Russia versus America. So uh, I think the match will be decent. You know Mark Henry. Um, well, Rusev's actually had pretty good matches uh, over the last couple pay per views with Biggie and Jack Swagger. And you know Mark Henry. I know Mark Henry's not on a level uh, performance wise as the other two he's faced um, in the last couple pay per views. But I think they'll put on a pretty decent match here. I don't think it'll be anything great, but I definitely think it'll be pretty solid. Uh, we'll also be having former Shield partners uh, Clyde once again, like we saw at SummerSlam, but this time it'll be Seth Rollins taking on Roman Reigns. And that just kind of doesn't make a lot of sense, considering they had a match on Raw, which had a clean finish with Roman Reigns beating Seth Rollins, so it's kind of doesn't make a lot of sense on a rematch again. Uh, but hey, you know they put on a pretty good match with that on Raw, so hopefully we get it, uh, get it again here, so uh, hopefully they pull it off. We'll be also getting a triple threat match for the Divas Championship. Paige defending against Nikki Bella and AJ Lee. Um, the whole Divas division in general right now is just, ah, uh, it's so dead. Um, whoever wins, it's honestly, like, not that big of a deal. If Paige retains, my question is who is she going to defend against? You know, if Nikki Bella wins, obviously she's in a feud with, uh, Brie Ford. So AJ's kind of like the person that's just there, in my opinion. She really has nothing to gain or lose from this match. Um, if she wins a title, she wins it, but if she doesn't, she doesn't. So she's kind of just thrown in there, in my opinion, uh, not really doing anything. But, um, then we get to the main event. Uh, which is a rematch from SummerSlam, but this time it is Brock Lesnar defending the WWE World WWE Championship against John Cena in a, like I said, rematch from SummerSlam. Redemption, resolve, rematch. Uh, that's the tagline for this match. Uh, hopefully it's better than the SummerSlam match. You know, SummerSlam was 95-5. to 5. 
Brock Lesnar. Hopefully we can get 70 to 30 at least in this match with John Cena getting some offense. If not, I'm not going to complain because Brock Lesnar is a beast and it's hard to put up a fight against Brock Lesnar. If you can't put up a fight because this man, like I said, is just a total beast and it's 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 hard to even... I would imagine it's hard to even wrestle him considering how strong and powerful he is. But um, yeah, enough of me rambling. Like I said, Night Champions looks good. Hopefully delivers. But uh, enough of me talking. Well, you're going to hear me talking some more right now because I'm getting my predictions. But enough of me rambling about the card. And um, let's get to my predictions on the card. So let's go. United States Championship match. United States Champion Sheamus versus Cesaro. Um, I think Cesaro is actually going to pick the victory here and become the brand new United States Champion. Sheamus has had a pretty decent run as champion. He hasn't really done anything with the title. He's just kind of holding it for the sake of holding it. And I think if Cesaro gets it, he'll actually defend it more often like he did in his first U.S. title run. I think he'll get fresh faces as contenders to the title. I think he'll have a great run. It's always fun to see a heel mid-card champion, so I think Cesaro would be a perfect candidate to win. I think it's going to be a great match, but I do think Cesaro won the picking victory to become the brand new United States Champion. WWE Tag Team Championship match, WWE Tag Team Champions, The Usos vs. Gold and Stardust. You know, this match to me can go either way. Um, I do think The Usos will retain, although it wouldn't surprise me at all if Gold and Stardust won the Tag Team titles here. I just, I don't see them winning for the fact that they pretty much dominated this entire feud. You know, The Usos really haven't gotten their number at all during this entire feud. It's always been Gold and Stardust getting the beat down on them. So, I think that the Usos are going to retain, and maybe down the line, Goldust and Stardust will win the Tag Team titles from them. But for now, I'll pick The Usos to uh, retain the Tag Team titles. Mark Henry versus Rusev. Um, I think this match is pretty much another match to prove the dominance of Rusev. Uh, I don't think Mark Henry is going to win, even though he's pretty much had a lot of momentum behind him, especially this past Monday on Raw. I just I don't see him winning. I don't see him being the guy to defeat Rusev and dethrone him. Therefore, I think Rusev is going to get the win here. You know, it'll actually build Rusev up even more and get a huge dominant win over a guy like Mark Henry, who's a former world champion. So I think this match will be decent. I'm not really expecting too much out of it, but uh, I do think Rusev will come out with the, the win in this match. Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. I do think Roman Reigns will get the victory here by disqualification. I think either Rollins will get himself disqualified or Kane will come out and interfere. Either way, I think there'll be a beatdown on Roman Reigns by Kane and Seth Rollins. Uh, pretty much setting up for the center blocks. You know, but before Rollins can curve some through the center blocks, I do think Dean Ambrose will come out and make his return for the save. Uh, pretty much clean house with uh, Rollins and Kane. And pretty much tell Rollins, hey, I'm still here and I'm, you know, I'm not done with you yet. So I think the whole purpose of this match is to set up Dean Ambrose's return. I still think this match will be very good. Their match on Raw was very good. But I think the whole purpose, like I said, is for Dean Ambrose. So Roman Reigns will win this match by disqualification and uh, Dean Ambrose to uh, make his return. Intercontinental Championship match. Intercontinental Champion Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. I do see Dolph Ziggler retaining here. Uh, the only way I see The Miz winning the title here is if, you know, they do the whole stunt double thing with Damian Sandow. Uh, like they did on Raw a few weeks ago in the tag team match where Sandow pretty much got in the ring. The ref was throwing him out. And as he was doing it, The Miz pre pretty much snuck behind Ziggler and got the pinfall victory. That's the only way I see The Miz winning it. But besides that, I think Ziggler will retain. Hopefully this match gets more time than a SummerSlam match because this match really deserves a lot of time. Well, not a lot of time, but, you know, time deserves. But Dolph Ziggler to retain. Chris Jericho versus Randy Orton. I'm actually really looking forward to this match. You know, these guys always have really good to great matches. Uh, just I'm always entertained when those two are facing each other, so I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, I do think Randy Orton will get the victory here. You know, he's been on a roll with these attacks and just being very vicious, and I think a win here would, uh, you know, add to his viciousness and, you know, make him more credible. Especially considering, you know, Chris Jericho, this is his last match for this run, so I don't think it makes any sense for Jericho to win at all. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, Randy Orton will punk Chris Jericho to, uh, you know, pretty much send him off like he did in 2010. If we're lucky, we'll get that, but I'm not, you know, expecting that. But like I said, I'm expecting a great, solid match from these two guys, and I do think uh, Randy Orton will uh, pick up the, the victory over Chris Jericho. Triple threat match for the Divas Championship. Divas Champion Paige versus Nikki Bella versus AJ Lee. One of two things can happen in this match. Either Nikki Bella will win this match and become the brand new Divas Champion, or Brie Bella will come out and pretty much screw Nikki out of the match and cost him the title, and Paige will retain. Either of those scenarios are very possible. I'm leaning more towards Brie screwing Nikki. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if AJ won the title though, you know, they've been flip flopping the Divas title so many times, I don't even know who's going to win this match, but I'm going to go ahead and pick Paige to retain. This match is interesting to see how it ends, but like I said, I think uh, Paige will retain. And then the main event, WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, WWE World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. I do think that Brock Lesnar will retain the championship. I don't think it makes any sense in the world for Brock Lesnar to lose the title this early, especially one month of having it. Especially the guy that he beat it from, John Cena. I don't think it makes any sense for John Cena to beat Brock Lesnar to win the title back. I think it wouldn't make any sense at all. And John Cena doesn't need the title. Uh, there's no interest in him as champion, but there is interest with Brock Lesnar as champion. So, with that being said, Brock Lesnar retained. Hopefully this match is more 50-50 than it was at, uh, you know, SummerSlam was 90-10 to or 95-5. to 5. 
Uh, so hopefully this match is more equal. So, but uh, Brock Lesnar to retain easily. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My Night of Champions 2014 pay-per-view predictions. Like I said, Night of Champions is live on pay-per-view as well as the WWE Network tomorrow night. Uh, should be a good show. Hopefully the card looks solid. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for Night of Champions. Um, and hopefully you guys are too. If you're not, well, I'm sorry that they didn't they excite they didn't excite you for this show, but they excited me, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Tomorrow, Night of Champions review coming up. Um, not sure when, but sometime after pay per view as always. And until tomorrow, guys, I'll see you for Night of Champions.